Last year, I wrote a blog post titled, The Raspberry Pi 4 Needs a Fan. And in a video to go along with that post, I detailed the process of drilling out a hole in the top of the official Pi 4 case and installing a 5-volt fan inside. But that solution wasn't great. The fan was a little loud and annoying, and it would stay on all the time, and who wants to damage the nice-looking Pi case by putting a hole right in the top of it? Well, the folks over at Raspberry Pi, in this particular case, engineer Gordon Hollingworth, must agree with me that the Pi 4 case needs a fan, because they just started selling this $5 Pi case fan. The fact that the Pi 400 I tore down last month has a massive heatsink built in means the Pi engineers know how important it is to dissipate heat from the Pi's main processor. Will this little case fan work as well for the Pi 4? And how loud is it? I'll answer those questions in this video. First of all, I love how the box has the installation instructions right on the outside. Regardless of how well the fan works, the box designer really deserves a shout out here. To install the fan, pop off the top of the Pi case like this. Then line up the case fan inside the top of the case like this and push it in until the tabs click into place. Once it clicks into the slots on either side, you need to plug the red, black, and blue wires into the Pi's GPIO header like it shows on the side of the box. There's also a little heatsink you can stick on top of the system on a chip. If you don't use it though, the case fan still keeps the Pi from throttling, but spreading the heat using this heatsink makes the fan's job a little bit easier, so I stuck it on. Once that's done, pop the top cover back on and the Pi is good to go. Now, you might be wondering where the fan gets its intake and puts out its exhaust. Since there's no actual vents built into the case, the fan has to bring in air through the tiny gaps around the USB and network jacks, and then it blows that air out through the gap around the microSD card slot and the other ports on the side of the Pi 4. Here's a preview of what it looks like on a thermal camera. You can see it still gets quite warm on the top even with the fan going. To support the fan hardware, a new PiOS update released on December 2nd made it easy to configure options for the fan, like which GPIO port the blue wires plugged into, or what temperature the Pi CPU should reach before the fan powers up. I enabled the fan in the Pi configuration utility and left the defaults, which are pin 14 and 80 degrees Celsius. If you want to configure the fan settings in the boot config.txt file, the settings are here under the GPIO fan DT overlay. Here's a graph of the Pi's CPU temperatures running with a fan set to run at 80 degrees during a 20 minute stress test using the Pi CPU stress script I publish on GitHub. And good news, the fan works. You can see the point here where the fan kicked in and the kept the Pi from throttling. At no point when I had the fan installed did the Pi throttle its CPU. I ran the same test without the case fan and the Pi started throttling around nine minutes into the CPU stress test. In both cases, the Pi will behave similarly until the set temperature is reached when the case fan turns on. And I could compare the case fan to other cooling solutions I tested before to make this a longer video and make YouTube happy, but I don't think that's really that important for this fan. The case fan is built to do one thing, keep the Pi 4 from throttling when it's inside the official Pi 4 case, and it does that. So it's a good improvement, but the most important thing for me, especially since I'm used to the blissful silence of my fanless Flerk cases, is how loud the fan is when it runs and how often it runs. And to test how loud it is, I used the DB Meter app on my iPhone and put the iPhone a few inches to the left of the Pi in the case. The audio you're going to hear for these clips is straight out of my camera and is pretty close to how it actually sounded in real life. First, here's the case fan. It's a bit unpleasant making a kind of high-pitched whine, but let's compare it to the 5-volt Pi fan I installed in the hole I cut into the top of the Pi case for last year's video. And finally, here's what the Pi sounds like in a Flerk case. Ah, <sighs> the blissful sound of silence. Now, when you're dealing with fans that cost less than five bucks, you're not gonna get some silent Noctua fan. You're more worried about controlling the temperature than the noise, but it is something to consider. The smaller the fan, the more likely it has some annoying pitch to it. But there is good news. If you set the fan only to come on at 80 degrees Celsius, which is the default, then it seems to only have to run for 20 to 30 seconds every three to five minutes if the Pi is under constant 100% CPU load. When it runs, it cools the Pi down to around 70 degrees Celsius, then shuts off until the Pi hits 80 again. 
It's a reliable enough compromise that I'd recommend it to anyone that wants to use the official Pi case. But if the Pi Foundation plans on making a similar case for the next Raspberry Pi, I hope they consider the thermals in the case design itself and either build a passive heatsink into the case like the Flurk, or build a fan into the design of the case itself instead of as an add-on. If you already use the official Pi 4 case, then for five bucks, the case fan isn't a bad deal. It keeps the Pi from throttling and only kicks in under heavy load. But it does sound a little annoying and makes its presence known. I'd still recommend using a different case like my favorite, the Flurk case, or finding another creative way to mount your Pi 4 so it can keep cool without needing any noisy little fans at all. Subscribe, or I'll make you listen to the fan noise for five more minutes. Until next time, I'm Jeff Gearling. You can see it still gets quite slightly warm. Quite slightly. It, you gotta pick one or the other, buddy. Here's a graph of the Pi's CPU temperatures. Ugh, Pi CPU stress stripped. Ugh, stressed, stressed test. I'm stressed. Ugh. And finally, here's what the Pi sounds in a Flurk case. Here's what the Pi sounds. Here's what the Pi sounds like. <clears throat> Dang, my thing made a thing.